is set to go. Referee Shil Lebeck is ready to drop the puck. You can feel the intensity of this one. Total playoff atmosphere. We're underway. Blast from the blue line. Turns him away. Takes a hit. He goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Slides it across to Black Dynamite. Oh, he'll feel that one. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Detroit's got the puck. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. There's the whistle. He let that one. Oh. They're going to go. Are they trying to send a message early here? Yeah, I think so. And it, it didn't look like it took much to drag either guy into the fight. And down he goes. That's a clear winner right there. Always amazed at how much a fight takes out of a player for the rest of the day. As they get escorted to the penalty box, they've got to try and regroup so they can play again. Even the officials look exhausted trying to get control of this one. At center ice now, he grabs the puck, moves it to Apostolopoulos, and that goes off the iron and stays out. Stops him cold. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Slides it over with pace to Black Dynamite. And he takes a shot. He scores a quick road goal. I'm telling you, every meeting says, let's start quick. I don't know if the road team felt it could be this quick. I don't know if this is the hardest shot ever, but this is a quick release. Beats the goalie low glove side. The Hogs with about as perfect a road start you can get here, Ray. If they came out and wanted to be aggressive, sure. But you never really think you're going to get on the board this quickly. Detroit's got control of it now from their own end. And he caught him when he wasn't looking. What a hit. ronick has got it in the offensive zone. Chase right in front. Nothing doing. He misses by a large margin. He's right in the middle of the ice. Dumps it in. Detroit's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Lowers the boom with that hit. Steps into all of that. To his teammate. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. Little Rock's in another close game. One of the reasons is positionally they're in the right place at the right time to intercept pucks. Little Rock's still got time here in this first period to increase this lead. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Lays into the body. From in close. And he scores. What a shot. Oh, that's a bad burp up by the defensive player there. He turns it over. And this puck ends up top bins. Beautiful shot over the goalie. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Little Rock's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Little Rock's capitalized on their offensive abilities here in this first period. O'Reilly's won the draw. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. Puck picked up by Larkin. He carries the puck up along the wing. Larkin's got it along the wing. Moves it around along the half wall. Oh, just a textbook hit. Feeds the puck to Black Dynamite. With the backhand. Oh, that gets a piece of the stick. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. Quick feed to Bushnevich. Centering pass. James picks up the puck. And as he opts to free... Oh, he ripped that right after the whistle. What's he thinking? I don't know how interested he is in a punch-in-the-face contest. Ray, maybe you can get a better look down at ringside, but it looks like uh, it'll be equal balance going to the sin bin here. Oftentimes, when there's a mess like this, the officials will hand one penalty out to each side, try and settle everything down. Stones him in front. This is a quality chance that the goaltender turns aside right from the slot. 
Here's a shot denied by the blocker. And now he angles it across to Maxwell. Moves the puck along the half wall. Gives them nothing in front. Over the line they come. He's got a step. Huge stop on the breakaway. Oh, you don't get many of these. He's right in on goal, but the goalie's better. The Red Wings gain possession in their own end. Trying a physical line here. Big time defensive play. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. And that one's turned away. They're working really... Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. Play blown dead. Penalty coming up here. Apostolopoulos is going to feel some shame in the box for charging. I don't have too much trouble with that. That becomes a... There's the double G in the game. The great glove save. Past the halfway mark of this period. And it's a comfortable 2-0 lead we're looking at right now. Play resumes here as he wins the draw. Scores! They deliver big time with the man advantage. Yeah, they use that extra man to their advantage. Move the puck very quickly. That's a nice goal. Detroit's cut that lead to one as they get back to center ice. They must look at this game completely different, James. They should, because now with just half of this first period left, there's lots of time. You only trail by one. Two chains will serve two for interference. You can slow a player down, but it can't be that obvious. He gets involved in his lane of skating, and interference will be the call. Nice play, shorthanded as they get control of the puck. 12 minutes, 45 seconds. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. Picks up the puck in his own end. Sends it quickly to Larkin. Nice poke check. Little Rock's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Here's a short pass to Larkin. Tries to get the puck over to Mantha. Now a quick pass to Mickey Moose. Talk about sacrifice. What a block. Biscuit Knees plays it into the offensive zone. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. The Hogs have been the better team in this first period. More scoring opportunities and as a result, more goals. Maxwell's won it. There's the physical side. Great hit on the play. Puts it on net with the stop. Instead of covering up, he feeds it along. Detroit's ready to go on the attack. And he gets pummeled. He tried to protect himself by getting his stick up, but he didn't get it up far enough. It got rattled out of his hands. Now he's got to chase it down. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. Now he slides it up to Maxwell. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. We got a penalty coming up here as the officials blow the play dead. Caught him just as he was picking up speed, and he's going to pay for it with the trip. Oh, you're spinning with him. You're trying to get your stick into the puck lane, and you end up tripping him up. The power play unit goes right back to work. This is a pretty simplistic power play. They like to get the puck, shoot it, crash it, and get it back, and shoot it again. What a great time to have a man advantage as they trail by one. Big time stop gets a blocker on it. Kicked up ahead to his teammate who skates away. Carlson's got it in the defensive end. Taken along the wall by Bertuzzi. On the attack along the boards. Reads it perfectly in the defensive end. Referee's hand shoots high in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up. And here comes the judgment from the official. He's going off for tripping, and doesn't everybody feel like they're innocent on a trip? You feel like you're innocent on most every penalty, but this one always feels like, Dad, did you really have to call it? And oh, thunderous hit. He thought he had all kinds of room. There was none. He thought he could get by him, but he got squeezed off. That was a big hit. Makes a move, and the puck hops away from him. Quick pass to your boy, Oven. Detroit's grabbed a hold of the puck. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Good hit on the play. Pack Daddy's carrying it ahead. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Rinky Lightens moves the puck. Uses the force on that hit. Solid hit on that play. Moves it quickly over to Mickey Moose. And that one's stopped. Here's a chance to try to get it out of the defensive zone. And that's picked up by a teammate instead. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. 
Detroit's looking to break out of their own end. Oh, that's a good hit. Little Rock's got it in the neutral zone. Here's a blast! Denies him on the play. Here's a chance to set up now. And that puck leaves the zone. And as he steps back out onto the ice, they'll go to work with the man advantage here. He scores! That's a short-handed marker. James, they took advantage of one little crease, and they were able to race up the ice, get themselves a short-handed marker here. What a change of events this is. They're down a goal, trying to kill a penalty to just stay in touch with the game. Wow, a shorty, and it's tied. Here in the later stages of this period, we got a tie game. Grabs the puck at center. Slides the puck near the front of the net. There's the go-ahead goal, and we have a new game. Taking the lead now, you control it. You push the pace, you push the other guys back on their heels. He doesn't need too many chances to score. That's one of the reasons he leads his team in goals. He's got a great finish when he gets the opportunity. Little Rock's goal scores have given them a one-goal lead here in the first period. I've liked the way that they came out and started this game. Now that they have the one-goal lead, see if they can expand upon it. And there's the save. Let's the wrister go, and that's blocked. Up along the wing. From the slot, wrist shot. Just wide of the net. The Red Wings Whoa. get a hold of the puck along the boards. The Hogs have it in the offensive zone. With some momentum driving towards the net. Scores! That's two unanswered now. Oh, they stayed right on it once they start that first one. They just pushed the pace of this. Now they get another. This is a terrific shift for them here in the offensive zone. Relentless pressure. They never come off the puck. There is no time that the defensive team seems to be able to catch up. Eventually, it ends up in the net. They earned that marker. Puck grab by Nemeth. Scored by number 24. Break away. Great stop by the goaltender. Positioning and quickness. That's the day right there. The first period is all said and done with as the horn sounds. Goals, goals, and more goals. 4-2 is where we sit after 20. Hey fans, don't forget to pick up your team calendar. They're available in section 144 at the team PR. Clean sheet of ice, period two is set to go. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Ray, we've already got 20 minutes under our belt here. What are your thoughts of this one so far? Little Rock's offense has come from many sources. They've had a majority of the shots on goal. It's a good thing. This is a high-scoring game. Moves close to the point. Moves it to Mickey Moose. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Quick feed to Carlson. And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. up the puck behind the net. Chance on the deflection. Nice stick save by the goaltender who got a piece of that one to swat it away with the twig. Since the beginning of the playoffs, he has been really good. One of the league leaders in playoff goals. He seems to score almost every night. Little Rock's got the lead here early in this second period. Their offense has been clicking at all cylinders thus far. Scoops up the puck here. Carries it in. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Blocker save, and he's showing up big time tonight. Pretty solid stop, and the puck goes into the corner to safety. Rocked him. And he gains the zone here. That's a solid check on the play. And he comes up with it. Takes the pass from his goaltender. Drives it to the front of the net. Oh, bold move by the goaltender as he pokes it away. Newdorf's got it in the offensive end. 
puts it on net. He scores. Well, when it rains, it pours. Man, they are just coming out in buckets right now as they get three straight. Really a dominating performance. These are fun goals to score. You read that the goaltender's dropping into the butterfly, and you know you're going top shelf. You beat them over the glove, it feels great. Little Rock's had the better scoring opportunities, and lots of them, which is why they lead in a big way here in the second. Puts it in deep. Sends a pass over. The backhander, zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Ronick. Thunderous hit. Well, that's inevitable. He had his head down. Got hit so hard, he dropped his stick. Now he's got to go pick it up before he can join the play again. That's why coaches say keep your head up, right? Well, that's one of the reasons. The Hogs have been putting lots of shots on net and have been rewarded for their efforts. O'Reilly's one possession. Here's a shot. Big time glove save. Little Rock's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time here in the second. O'Reilly's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone and makes the save. Little Rock's dominated right from the start. Their offense clicking on all cylinders, and they lead here in the second. Takes the shot, and he makes the save. lead in a big way here in this second they have been on fire offensively puck is dropped and we are back underway detroit's got the puck in the defensive end good hit detroit's got a hold of it along the wall a little banging and crashing now denied by the goaltender uh, we used to laugh about this and say oh the goalie's got to answer the phone because his ears are going to be ringing but i'm sure the trainer's going to check on him here as this hits him right in the face Looking to make something happen along the boards. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Black Dynamite's got it across the line. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Detroit's got the puck here in the open ice. And that's picked off. Through center along the wing. Can't connect. Detroit's got a hold of it against the wall. Tries to feed it over to Maxwell. Play whistled, and we got a fight. It doesn't even have to be a hard shot. It can be a muffin, but everybody is going to defend the goalie when you shoot the puck that late after a whistle. Oh, and down to the ice he goes. That's the end of that spirited boat. It only takes one to stagger a player. In that fight, he looks like he's struggled here at the end of it. He's not doing very well. Little Rock's got to be happy with where their game is at so far tonight as they continue to lead big here late in the second. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. And that's broken up. The Hogs gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Here they come on the attack. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Here's a short pass to Larkin. There's wow. a collision. Big hit. Quick feed down low. Perlini's going to play it against the half wall. Moves right to the middle. Way too much congestion blocks that. There's the whistle icing the call. Little Rock's been dominating at all ends of the ice, especially offensively here late in the second. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Carries it across the line, trying to shake free. Stopped with ease, with authority. And now it's over to Applicator. Look out, a two-on-one. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. Trying to get in all alone, and that's pumped away. Really aggressive play when the goalie goes to the poke check. And that'll do it for period number two. As a safety issue and courtesy to you, our fellow fans, please keep the aisles clear during the game. 
Detroit's going to have to make an adjustment here. Their injured player will not be back tonight. Little Rock's offense has been a thing to watch tonight as they lead it big time here early in the third. Here we go. Third period set to get underway. Simply too much to not enough at this point. The Hogs have built themselves a sizable lead here early in this third period. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. And makes the save. Quick pass to Black Dynamite. Rocks them. Play is blown dead. We've got a penalty on the way. Tripped him up, and he's off to the box for it, Ray. Reaching out for the puck, you get your stick into his feet. This is the consequence. Gets it out of his own end. He got rocked again. He's got to get his head up here. They're going to be carting him off the ice. And he came up big on that last opportunity. And manages to clear the zone. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Strong hit on the play. Here he is in front. Big save. And he elects to play the puck. Takes it across the blue line. Along the half wall with the puck. The Red Wings get a hold of the puck in their own end. Gets the puck back onto a stick. Let's it go. And gets a piece of it with the trapper. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Another stop by the goaltender. Quick work. He makes one and two saves in a row. Detroit's got the puck along the boards. Shuts him down. Get that slot, buddy. And that's another power play marker. Oh, the power play coach is going to be pumped here. They've done some extra work on the power play over the last 10 days or so. Really paying off tonight. their work ethic on this power play because it didn't go in the net early for them. They had to stay at it. They kept all kinds of pressure on the penalty killers. Eventually, you just wear them out and they're able to score. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Ronick. Big hit, absolutely lowering the boom. He all along. Oh, you're not going to get many chances better than this. It's you and the goaltender. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Detroit's got the puck. Detroit's looking to break out. Solid body contact. And that one's picked off in the neutral zone. Puts it on net. Stones him with the blocker. Quick pass across to Tuck. Detroit's got the puck in their own end. Moves it to Green. Here's a chance right in the slot. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Takes the feed from his netminder. Quick feed to Bertuzzi. Puck leaves the zone, forcing a mass exodus. Quick shot. What a save. He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. And now it's grabbed by Green. And on the heels of that big hit, he's being called out. Yeah, after the teammate got hurt, he jumped right in. He's going to make him try and pay a price. We got ourselves a fight here. Oh, and he hammers him and sends him down to the ice. That's a clear decision there. Not much to be said from the home team here. Their bench kind of quietly sits back down after their guy comes on the losing end of this bout. Yeah, the air from this building seems to have just deflated in here. Little Rock's got the edge in the shot department, a big reason why they lead here in this third period. And that shot dies in traffic. The Red Wings look to start the transition game. Wow, what a hit. Ray, you're at ice level. What do you see on that? He scores! It's double A, Andreas Athanasiou. What patience. He holds the puck, moves it to his forehand, and fires it past the goaltender. 
Detroit's closed the gap here in the second half of this third. They've given themselves a, an opportunity now, just trailing by one. Puck picked up in the open ice. Detroit's gained possession along the boards. Apostolopoulos brings it in. Time of the goal. Ten minutes, 57 Detroit's gained possession. That's a solid hit. Little Rocks regained possession of the puck. From point blank, scores! That's a scorer's goal right there. That puck is on and off his stick in a hurry. He's so tight to the net, he has to get rid of it before the goalie can readjust. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Tripped up on the play, delayed penalty coming up. From point blank range, scores! Oh, the mountain looks a little less steep now. They get to within one with that marker there. Little Rock's been the better team tonight. They have turned good defense into solid offense, and they lead here in the third. Here's a short pass to Newdorf. Jostles the puck loose. Rocked on the play. James, he is going to feel terrible tomorrow. He's been hit so many times tonight. He scores! Well, this is shaping up to be a long night for the goaltenders here. Yeah, if you're in the backup goalie position, I'd say start stretching because there's no end to this in sight. It's a bad decision by the other team as they get caught in an odd man rush but they don't make any mistake. This is a beauty. The Hogs now lead by two with less than half this period to go here. Huge. It really is, and they can still stay aggressive. Melt the game down with three or four really good shifts. Then you get into a comfortable place you can manage your way home. Here's a shot. He scores! Well, don't turn this one off yet. Well, you better not. We're still here. If we're here, you got to be here, too. Trickles over the goal line. The goaltender stopped most of it, just not all of it. Detroit's come back with a big one here in the third. Grind away, dig away. Now you got a chance. Only trailing by one goal. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. Little Rock's got the puck along the wall. Long lead pass to Apostolopoulos. The Red Wings get a hold of the puck. Handles the pass at center. Quick pass to Perlini. And that one's broken up. Moves with the puck at the corner. And a great save. With possession along the wall. Slides the puck over. Here's a shot. Oh, what a stop. Detroit's got a hold of it along the wall. They've got the defense outnumbered. Pokes it away in his own end. Moves it quickly over to Larkin with the stop. Hey, that means the play's supposed to end here. They're still pushing around pretty good. Biscuit Knees is looking for somebody to engage in a fight with. He can't find the right guy. Little Rock's been the better team offensively tonight. A lot of scoring chances, and they lead it late in this third period. Your boy Ovens got it into offensive territory. All alone in an empty net. Detroit's got to hold of it against the wall. And breathe! I got two of these in my career. I was never out at the end of the game. You had 400 goals and only scored two empty netters? Yeah, when we were protecting the lead, it was safest with me sitting down. What an indictment. Oh, yeah. Well, now you got a couple of goal lead here with the empty netter. That should be enough to put this away. The Hogs make their way back to center ice, probably breathing a little easier here now, Ray. Pretty much puts this to bed. The empty netter gives him a little bit more of a comfortable lead. Manages to hang on. With some momentum driving towards the net, gets in front of it. Over the line they come. There's the whistle, and a penalty is coming up on this one. Tripping is the call, and it's pretty cut and dry, it seems, Ray. Well, it's like you, you're in position, then you're not. You reach out, you trip him up, and there's no way to get out of it now. Look towards the gaping net, and there's the insurance marker much needed for them on this night. It's amazing how many times a guy misses an empty net, but this one he puts between the pipes.
They'd really have to screw this up now, James, to lose. The empty netter should put it away. offense has not been a problem tonight they put a lot of shots on net and lead it big time late in this third period they gain possession here inside the neutral zone slides it across and a poke check knocks the puck away quick shot and it is all over you got as far as a conference final. Can you find any parallels in terms of what they're experiencing right now? Well, for the losing team, yeah, James, this oh, really stinks because you're so close. You dream of the Stanley Cup, but you can't get there unless you win this series. It's like all that work, it was for naught. You've been on both sides of the equation for this. Do you like this tradition? I do, James. I think it's really important to show some respect to the team that has just won. It's been a hard fought.